Hello, my friends. Welcome to my studio, my messy studio. So I apologize, don't judge. Today, I am going to be painting over a couple of my older paintings. Um, yeah, they just don't turn out right sometimes and just reuse the canvas. Wait till they dry really good and reuse them. The first one I'm gonna be painting over is my first wave, right? The first wave that I did horrible i don't even want to show it to you i just don't even want to but i am going to show you from my last video okay i did do a wave pour that i did videotape and post and i promised to show you the dried results i don't know why i'm using this remote because it's not working i have to keep coming around there so that stinks so anyway and this is the wave that i did in the last video i learned a lot from this I should have learned a lot from the first one, but I guess I wasn't paying too much attention. Um, this is only the second wave I've done then. And uh, the first one was on a smaller rectangular canvas. I think that was an 11 by 14. Mm, could have been a 12 by 16, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I learned a lot from this one. So I'm gonna try doing another one and I'm going to do it over top of, as I might've mentioned, the first wave that I did because the um, the sides won't even have to be painted or anything because it's gonna be the same, basically the same colors. However, here is the wave I did in the last video. Okay, again, don't judge. I'm, I'm not happy with this one either, but I did learn from this. Okay, first of all, the crust. I need to work on that crust. My composition really needs a lot of work. I liked the colors I used. It's kind of a stormy color. I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit with some more titanium white though. And how I'm going to lay these colors out is gonna be a little bit different. I've learned that through the inner curve of the wave, not to put so many dark colors, to put more of the lighter colors through there and some of that titanium white that I'm referring to to give it more of a frothy look and a lighter look. But along the edge of the outer edge, I can go ahead and put some of those darker colors or maybe some down around through here. But up through here, I wanna lighten it up. I wanna do a different kind of um, composition up through here. And my crust needs a lot of work. This wave needed to come and come up a little bit differently and crest a little bit farther out in my mind this is what i'm thinking with a nicer curve i don't like this here either so um i'm gonna work on it like i said this is only my second one and I'm, i probably won't even put the blue sky i'll just do white because i'm still practicing it's okay but i'm going to use probably about the same colors as i did in this one and again no judge it's a terrible wave and I, I welcome any comments, any suggestions, anything you've got for me. Um, I appreciate it. So that's um, what I'm going to be doing today um, is pouring over this first wave. It's just a smaller, like I said, I think this is an 11 by 14. The second thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to pour over this old cloud pearl pour. Um, it didn't turn out wonderful. I know some people like it. It's like great. I got, you know, cells. I got a good amount of cells and stuff. But what I'm going to try to do, and I, I like reusing old canvases if I'm not pleased with them, I am going to try another pearl pour, pearl cell pour. Um, I'm going to use some, I don't have the prime, yeah, primary elements along with my regular paints my regular acrylic paints and um, see if I can get some fractals out of it. We'll see. We'll see if it happens or not. I like to in cloud pearl pores. I, I like the effect that it has and I, and I get plenty of cells and pearls out of it. So I'm happy with that. I just want to see if I can get a different effect through there. So that's what I'm going to do over this old one. Two pores today. Hang out with me. Hopefully you'll stay, stick around and um, I'll be back after I get set up. All right, we're back. I have gone ahead and poured down some white, titanium white. It's not Amsterdam titanium white. I had Liquitex uh, brand titanium white mixed up that I used for that. Um, painted the sides because I didn't want that blue coming through. But the colors I'm gonna be laying down here, I'll just mention as we go. Um, I have here the Golden's Light Phalo Blue. 
and this is Holbein in Dantherin Blue. And this is that dark color you're seeing in this painting. It can, Holbein is very pigmented. I love Holbein paints. So I'm going to be using this as sparingly as possible. Um, and then um, we've got some golden paints here. This is the, oh, I think this is the Cerulean Blue I'll be using. It's very much the same color as the primary cyan, cyan, however you say it. I am going to put a little bit of Extreme Sheen. This is their, oh, what is the name of this? Um, aquamarine. I'm sorry, I'm probably off camera. Aquamarine Extreme Sheen. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there and you're probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I have some Holbein Luminous um, Opera that I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit down at the bottom to make it look part of the sunset. Um, some light phthalo, uh, Golden's phalo green. I'll put just a drizzle through that through there too. So, um, oh yeah, and I can't, I've got to be putting some of this Amsterdam's ultra marine. I mean, it is just an amazing color for this. And some Holbein, this is Holbein's phalo turquoise. Not a lot of that. Again, the Holbein paints kind of take over. So I'm going to start out by putting in some of this in Dantherine Blue. We'll start with that. And go as gentle and as easy as I can. I think I'm going to start with a little drizzle. Let's see if I'm going to do a curl like that. I don't want to go too close to it because I'm going to be blowing it off. So Again, I'm going to put some in the curl in the like that, but mostly I'm going to keep this kind of along the outside edge because it is so so much a deep beautiful color. But again, I don't want it to take over. So we'll put just a few more little drizzles of that through, but mostly through the edge. And I'm going to come back with this golden cerulean blue. I think I put too much of this Holbein in the crust. So let's give a good amount of this. And the ultramarine, I think I want to do that next. Love this color blue. I am going to go ahead and make sure I get some of that along the edge. And that inner, inner part of the wave, it's such a pretty blue. Okay. Notice I'm working a little bit with these darker colors first. Now I'm going to put some of this Holbein turquoise, phalo turquoise in. I gotta try to go easy on this crust. I've already, I think I've already got way too much paint into that crust. So I know I'll be working on that. <laughs> okay, not too much of that. All right, now let's get these back up there. I'm gonna start putting in some of these other colors. I'm just gonna drizzle this in a little bit because I don't wanna overdo the extreme sheen. I do want to try to get some of those little um, cells to make it look kind of frothy though, or lacing, you might say. That's probably way too much of that. Here is the light phthalo green to brighten it up a little bit. We need some of that in that crest for sure. I'm going to put mostly the lighter colors along the edge with just a little bit through here. And now I'm going to come in with this um, Golden's Light Phalo Blue. I really like this color. 
I love these cups, by the way. These are those mixing cups that I found on Amazon. They have lids to them. It's just, it, I just love it. They're the silicone cups and they clean up so well. They really do. If you let them dry, the paint will peel right out. And see, you can really maneuver them. And there's little thumb hole things right here too. All right. Oh boy, it came out way too fast on that crust. Okay, go easy here. I say easy, but I'm not. Oh well, I'll work with it. Okay, so I need to do some titanium white now. So I'm going to do a lot of that along the inside edge. I think this is a good idea. This crest is going to be ridiculous. I got way too much paint up there. Let's put a little bit of the white out there too, but mostly through here. Okay, with that being done, let me go ahead and get my little Janiri blow dryer out and uh, blow this thing, blow this puppy out. I give it a little torch. Yes, some of these I did just, this is a small canvas, so this is quite a lot of paint for this little old canvas. Some of them I did just mix up though. Okay, here comes the noise. And I'm gonna start down here. It's very hard on a rectangular canvas to figure that out. And don't do what I just did. I just hit the canvas with my blow dryer. You know what? I need some more paint here. Okay, so before I finish this, I'm going to actually put a little bit more of this whole bind I'm going to drizzle some of this through because I'm not liking how that's looking. You see how I do things? I have no idea what I'm doing, right? Take a look at it. See what we got so far. Yeah, 
I had to put some more paint through there. Can you imagine me not having enough paint on here? Seriously, I, uh, I need more paint. A little bit. Just a little bit. I'm liking how this is turning out through here where it's lighter. I'm not sure about that right there, though, that's for sure. That crest. Like I said, you can always work on that. Okay, let's see. I think I need to add some color up through there. I'm going to start pouring it on though, because I'll just get too much like this streak through here that I'm not happy with. But I need some color up through here. might have to blow a little bit more through here because I'm not happy with that. I think we've actually got enough of the light blue up there. Just not liking how I did that. Yes, I just keep adding paint, don't I? It's got to work with it sometimes. It's difficult. Yeah, that crust I'll work with a little bit. that that crust I can dab that paint out this paint right there is what I'm talking about you just take a paper towel 
take it and you just dab it out. What you don't like, just pull it on out of there. And then you can add some white back in there. So you can make it work. Pull your colors through. You know, a swipe would do good with this because then it would pull out the lacing. Yeah, I'm not fond of that either. So, we'll take this. Let me scrape that off and we put more paint on there just to fix it. bit better I think um, like I said I need to work a little bit more on the crest um, I'm kind of okay with the edges through here I've got some amazing cell and lacing reaction going on not particularly enthused about some of the edges here but it's okay um, each time I do this I'm learning I'm improving I think <laughs> I think <laughs> Yeah, you just got to make it look like it's kind of crashing. Crashing down. Yeah, just a real light touch with your finger sometimes can do it. Um, to pull some of those colors through. that and probably some little things like that sometimes when you do this you can actually get it to sell up when you're pulling the paint against each other depending on your your paint brands and stuff so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix my sides I'm going to work a little bit more on this and we'll bring it down and see uh, see what we've got be right back okay so I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore. I worked a little bit on the crust. Um, I'm going to bring it down and show you um, some of the good parts. Excuse the studio lights. So we've got some frothiness going on here. A little bit of turmoil in the waves. I like the little um, bits of lacing and cells that we got going up through there kept the darker colors um, closer to the edge like I wanted to do and the lighter colors up through the inside of the wave. I did have that, <laughs> you saw how I had to add paint um, as I was going, um, not being happy with what I had laid down originally. Um, a little bit of turmoil in the wave there. And as we come up to the crust, I worked a little bit on there. It still looks a little bit of kind of fake, but you know, what can I say? I did get um, some cell reaction through there to make it look like bubbles, hopefully. And I think that if you take some um, Amsterdam titanium white with some Australian Floetrol in there and do a little bit of a swipe 
through that crust, you'll probably get more frothy looking. But all in all, I think it's an improvement over my last one. Um, so hopefully each time I do this, it'll get better. So thank you for joining me. And if you want to keep, um, keep on watching, I'm going to do another pour shortly, uh, cloud pour, uh, pearl cell cloud pour.